Every morning, employees at Sinichi Makino's factory recite the company's credo to produce a brand new health food that, they say, can change people's lives. MySen is an exception in Japan. Many ambitious new companies have had trouble finding money to launch new products because traditional banks regard them as risky businesses. But MySen was selected to be part of a government-led equity financing program, securing about $5 million of capital. Mr. Makino created an innovative agriculture startup out of his family-run rice farming company. He built a new plant and now has about 30 employees. In February, MySen started manufacturing unique vegetarian products using its own brown rice. Mr. Makino engineers food that mimics the taste and texture of meat, but is vegetarian. He says rice and other vegetable ingredients offer a healthier alternative to meat. Mm. Mm. Years ago, when Sinichi Makino first set out to build a factory, he couldn't find money. Mr. Makino says local banks aren't willing to lend to risky agricultural businesses and venture capital isn't available locally. That's despite the Japanese central bank's low interest rate policy which has helped make a growing amount of cash available for lending. In March, banks lent private businesses $89 billion more than the same period last year. But outside major cities, farms and other small companies were kept out of the loop. Under a new financing program, a fund led by National Agricultural Cooperative Bank Norin Chukin and a government-led agency called A5 took a stake in Mr. Makino's new company. Not only did this grow MySen Fine Foods capital, it also helped it obtain more money from banks. It was eventually able to borrow at extremely low interest rates, cheaper than MySen's regular rates of about 1.5%. パンドの信用力っていうのは全然違うと思います。Japanese food is growing in popularity around the world, and some agricultural startups want to take advantage of this trend. The Agriculture Fund chipped in on several of these agri-companies, including MySen Fine Food. For investors, it's a risk worth taking. Small farmers need new sources of income. Farming is currently heavily subsidized, but this may be reviewed given Japan's multi-trillion dollar public debt. There are also plans to lift many import tariffs, meaning farmers will also have to face tougher global competition from cheaper imports. This project is generating hope for innovative farmers. For the Makino family, this business involves a much higher risk than simply selling rice as a commodity. They say gluten-free and vegetarian foods are trending globally, but this also means there may be more competitors trying to seize the market, and it's unclear if Japanese consumers will pay $3 for these 100-gram bags. The new company borrowed large sums of money to invest in machinery, workforce, and marketing, with no guaranteed return. Wow. 
Clients in Mr. Makino's city of Sabai say his products respond to real demand. According to Mr. Makino, chefs at renowned hotels in Japan and the U.S. are trying out his meat-like foods. Whatever happens next, he says, being able to start this company was already a blessing. ただ単に